I was, I'm always been the type of person to keep up with the times and always exploring what's new out there. And, um, and so I always try to, it, but it's hard, especially now, because it just, it just seems like there's always something new coming out, you know, yeah. all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's why, I, that's what I was going to ask you, like, I, I don't know how you're able to keep up with it, because it's, now it's like, imagine yeah, it's Axel, like, it, like at, at 17 at this, like, at this age. Oh, my like, God things are moving so fast it's like the next year the newest thing is out then you know in like in a few months the newest thing is out so how were you able to keep up like with all of that that's a good question um my dad he used to work for a newspaper called el diario uh, I, I don't know if it's around anymore or not but it was a spanish newspaper and uh he would always buy i guess i got it from him he'd always buy like the latest electronics like he bought like a mac computer i don't know 1987 it was like i don't know five thousand dollars something like that wow yeah, yeah. so it was like I, I didn't really do much. You didn't have that much gigs. I mean, had like probably like a few, maybe had 500 megabytes. megabytes. Yeah, so like <laughs> that was like a big thing back then. Like, oh my God. So um, so I, I said to my dad, I always been a very acquisitive person. I said, um, he, was, he was showing me this like new thing. It was like uh, by iOmega. I don't even know if they're around anymore. And uh, you could hold like, I don't know, like uh, 50 <laughs> megabytes. Somebody like was like, say, look at this son, this is the future. But, but and then I was like, but dad, aren't they going to, um, I was like, dad, that, that's great. So we could have this forever and ever. Cause then we could store stuff. He's like, no, no. Cause then next year they'll come out with something new. Mm -hmm. uh, that's maybe now 60 megabytes the, and the old ones is 50. Yeah. So I was like, then why even buy it then? If it keeps on, you know, upgrading like that, he's like, that's just the way it is, son. That's just yeah. the way it is. <laughs> so I guess I, uh, you know, him saying that it, it planted in my head, I was like, okay, so things just are constantly, you know, in flux and they're constantly changing. So you, you can never get, used to or comfortable because things are always you know advancing so and that was probably like i don't know how old i was maybe i was like eight years old at that time so like it's those it's funny how those things stay in your head and um so yeah so i guess so uh the axle today would probably be the same way i would just be like okay this is great for right now but what's happening in the future like right now i'm looking into 5g 5g 5k or 5g oh yeah 5g, 5G that's right yeah. uh, because right now we're Internet currently speeds, in LTE, yeah. also known as 4G, which just basically means generation, you know, four. So now we're heading we're heading into generation five, which is coming in 2020, 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Verizon's already pushing a soft rollout of it. And the thing about 5G is uh, autonomous vehicles, which will also roll out probably in 2020. You know, you could probably call an Uber and you know an autonomous uber car will come and, and pick you up and then it'll take you to your destination mm -hmm. but the thing is the the signal with 4g you you know there's dead spots so with 5g they would plant these antennas on every uh light post so you would constantly have a strong signal so i'm predicting that that's a game changer because if you have a strong signal that you never have to worry about having a dead signal ever and you could download a movie within i don't know five seconds you know, like a, like a 4K movie, you know, five seconds, boom. Oh, yeah, that's going to be crazy. That's going to be a game changer because one of the things, uh, you know, that's stopping, you know, like let's say someone wants to create a network is things like that. You're like, oh, you know, like I'm not going to have enough uh, bandwidth for someone to download my video. So that's going to change. I'm predicting that anyone can then create their own network, internet network, because now you have nothing stopping you. And uh, so that's what I'm predicting right now, based on what my research, you know, because I, I, that's something I love. Uh, sorry, I love to do like a lot of research about, you know, different things and trying to stay with, you know, technology. So that's where I definitely see things going. So a, a lot of new industries are going to open up and be created starting 2020 or 2021 once when 5G fully comes out. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited about that right now. And, uh, and probably other things that we can't even imagine, like, uh, you know, Apple and Samsung are, uh, delving more into augmented reality. So imagine if you have 5G and then you have augmented reality, which is, for those people that don't know, it's just uh, you're seeing you know, the reality. Then if you, if you had glasses, you could then see things that added on onto the reality. Yeah. So imagine having, you know, you could be watching, you know, uh, you know your podcast, you know, as you're walking, because, you know, supposedly Apple's going to drop uh, Apple glasses. I don't know if they're going to call it, you know, some type of glasses either this year or next year. Wait, so the, Google Glass? I think that, that... No, yeah, there's Google Glass, but Apple's coming out with their own ah, version. So gotcha. I'm sure it's going to look very sleek, you know, very in, you know, in style okay. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool yeah. because Google, Gla Google Glass kind of 
it didn't take off. Well, I mean, look the way yeah. it, it, it didn't it was, look that attractive. Like you had like yeah. this thing protruding, and it was like, hey man, uh, you know, I have this like like a clear <laughs> thing here, and it, yeah, and, and then it was like, like uh, it, it had like these band here, and it had no lens there. It's like yeah. you look like. Uh, it, looks it looked weird, like yeah. Generation One. It looked like a beta. You know, it, yeah, it looked like that's complete. True. And who like wants to wear a beta on them? Like, all right, guys, I'm wearing they a beta. They were probably just in a rush. They just yeah, to like push we gotta it roll it out. Yeah. Just roll it out. Roll it out. <laughs> yeah. like, and when it comes like that, you know, when you want to capture the zeitgeist, uh, you really want to, you know, uh, test the product out. Which I feel like that's what Apple does best. Like they let other people roll it out, and then they take it and make it better. Nah, they, they took it yeah. to a whole other level, you know. Yeah. Again, I, my my dad was a big Apple user, so I, I'm also a big. Yeah, I'm Apple a big user. Apple user too. I just converted like uh, many years ago. <laughs> so now we're talking. I'm have. like, Most have. yeah, it's it just makes things so much easier, and, yeah. and the way everything connects with each other with your laptop and your computer yeah, and all that. It, it stay in yeah. the ecosystem. Yeah, of course, and that's very smart. Like if they keep you in the ecosystem, they keep you buying their products, which is exactly. Smart. And also, I'm hearing that Apple now wants to delve more into software than hardware. So that's also interesting. So so maybe they see that's where things are going, especially with augmented reality and 5G that's coming. So, so like, I, I'm very excited to see what happens. I don't know if you saw this. Um, I wish I could show it to you. There was like, a, just yesterday I was watching it. It was like a, it was like a, a, a conference uh, mm. of them um, showing off the new. Uh, I think it was Samsung. Like it was like a new VR. It's just it's completely high quality and it's done so well. And they did it in a way where you are watching the person use it. And everything's popping up in front of them like holograms. Yep. So you're like the, the third person viewer is seeing what they're seeing, mm -hmm. but in a 3D space. And that's what augmented reality type of thing. Yeah, so it's like an augmented reality mm -hmm. uh, thing with holograms. Mm -hmm. So they're they're using this the, the headset, and mm -hmm. then like they're pinching. Uh, they're like they have mm -hmm. apps, so that mm -hmm. they they'll they'll be like oh let me take this app put it right here, mm -hmm. right here, and then they pinch it to make it grow. It's kind of like Iron Man. Yeah. And they were yeah. showing how everything works, and then they popped up like a holographic. Uh, um, piano and they start playing with it and then when you put your hands out it registers your hand and every intricate movement of your hands so That's awesome so it's like it, it just it's like so advanced so with 5g rolling out then yeah you can have that not even worry about there being any debt there will be no downtime yeah it'll be a thing of the past people the new generations will be like downtime what's that you know it's like yeah like, that is you can tell them like well you know <laughs> i mean it's good it's good for us because oh yeah absolutely. upload stuff and yes all stuff yes it'll be, like it'll be so quick. like done it's already yeah. done it's already up you know that would be amazing that's what i'm saying it's going to change everything so i'm very excited about that i mean right now they already rolled out um uh trucks uh i think they did that either last year or this year where they're autonomous you know they're ro they're, they're driving right now in the united states autonomous i mean they have some truck driver somewhere and he's like he takes control over it once when they get into like the cities and stuff but when it's in the regular highway it's all autonomously which is great i mean because i just see that's where things are going you know? yeah definitely i mean uh especially with like tesla and uh, elon musk really pushing for for his cars and stuff so what do you think what do you, what do you think we that's were actually go? talking about yeah what we were talking about elon musk i remember we were, on the way over here we were talking uh, about. about the uh what we were just talking about right now with the autonomy, with the uh, autonomous cars. Uh, well, the autonomous cars, but yeah. also like the virtual reality. Yeah. Uh, he was. What was he speaking about? Also, he was talking about something about like tapping into like your, like what Steve Jobs was talking about, like mm -hmm. psychedelics almost, mm -hmm. like DMP mm -hmm. and people who take acid. You tap into like a certain part of your brain mm -hmm. that is basically like dormant. Mm -hmm. um, and people that do use psychedelics, I mean, they have like spoke about like outer body experiences and I don't know, reaching a part of your brain that you're you're not able to activate without using any one of those uh, treatments, whether it be DMP or acid or mushrooms or uh, peyote, which is pretty much the same thing as mushrooms. Well, <laughs> I mean, like but, I, but the whole I, 5G thing is, yeah. is interesting, too. But yeah. there's always there's always a flip side to What's the, the flip coin. Side? I mean, I, I've also heard that because of the like the heavy concentration of like the uh, of the five G of, mm -hmm. of like the the I guess radiation, the radio, the radiation or, the, or uh, the radio signal, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it like it interferes with certain things in nature. Like uh, I heard there were like flocks of birds that were dying. I'm not. I mean, I'd have to look exactly into mm -hmm. it like to to find out. But I know there was somebody like trying to stop the five G towers from I think, going up. I think that's why they've been taking a while. Now. I think they should have been out for some time now. That's that's what I that's what I think too. Well, it I've also heard. takes time. It, the change in the whole network. It takes time to put uh, put this uh, system in place. Because again, there's going to be a bunch of antennas on each uh, light post. Right. That's a so lot that, of power that you're right. now emanating. 
you know, as yeah. you know, think about all these cell phone towers that people didn't want in their backyards anyway because they were talking about like their kids were getting sick or mm-hmm. animals were getting sick, and now you're saying that you're going to put an antenna that uh, yes. outputs even more energy, <laughs> um, and you're going to confine them to even smaller spaces, like you said, on different uh, traffic Light lights posts, yeah. and lampposts. There well, has to be a downside. You know, I, you know, when it comes to technology, you know, I I, I feel like something like this, yes, so. Uh, They'll figure it out as they go along, but of course, yeah, it, there could be some dangerous uh, side effects that could happen. Um, but I mean, we w- won't really know until you know. We try. It. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it I mean, I I I, I know what my brother's saying. Collateral damage is acceptable. <laughs> know, is that what you're saying? Know, like, yeah. What, what I'm if trying, we lose what some I'm, people, it's okay. Yeah, it's for it's the greater okay. good. It's for the greater what, what, good. What I'm trying. <laughs> hey, look, well, we I, won't know unless we try. <laughs> He's like, I mean, yes, they should do, you know, obviously tests, uh, you know, see, you know, if it's, you know, safe for, you know, society. But, yeah, they might be pushing this uh, system really quick because I think what the United States is they're nervous, is nervous about other countries rolling out uh, 5G before. before we do. I yeah. mean, and we're a country that always has to be, you the know, first. first, you know, yeah. we always like we're, you know, we're America. number one, number one, you know, America, yeah. number one. <laughs> so that, that's what it is. And if people, you know, get sick, you know, so be it. You know, we'll figure <laughs> it out. Don't worry. Just just roll it out. Roll it out. Yeah. You know, so that's what I feel like that they might be doing. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not condoning that that's the way. But I mean, that but it, it does kind of feel like maybe that's what they're doing. So I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're still doing tests even right now, but we'll see, you know, what happens. But what I do know is, you know, regardless, they, they're rolling out and they want it out by 2020, 2021. Actually, uh, the government even said that they were going to roll out uh, 5G if the network, uh, if these um, um, phone companies didn't uh, move fast enough because they were like dragging their feet. Oh, 5G, because mm-hmm. we, we have to change the whole system. It's like someone coming to your house and saying, um, you know, if you don't, you know, renovate this house, we're going to do it, you know? Yeah. So that's why the, the, uh, the cell phone companies are, are trying to move faster now because they don't want competition because if the government creates their own 5G, of course, it'll be a lot cheaper. They'll be like, oh, we'll, you know, we'll do it for 10 bucks. You know, you guys are paying how much for internet? Uh, $60. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why. So that's why the phone company's like, oh my God, you know, we got to, you know, we got to start cracking on this. Like, don't worry, we got this. We're going to roll it up by 2020, 2021. So that's what, why there's this, uh, the speed now going where, where uh, yeah, maybe if they weren't dragging the feet, maybe it would have already been out yet. 5G. You know? I gotcha. 